Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor in Atlanta, helping his lover and boss, District Attorney Fonnie Willis, just testified to Congress that they had two meetings with the White House concerning the RICO case against Trump. But let's remember what Biden said while stumping for the 2020 election when he was asked if he would get involved in prosecuting Donald Trump. The Justice Department is not the president's private law firm. The attorney general is not the president's private lawyer. I will not interfere with the Justice Department's judgment of whether or not they think they should pursue the prosecution of anyone that they think has violated the law. I think it is a very, very unusual thing and probably not very, very, very uh, how can I say it, good for democracy to be talking about uh, prosecuting former presidents. That was Biden saying that he wouldn't interfere in a federal case, meaning that he wouldn't get involved either way. But now we know for sure that the White House was involved in the Georgia RICO indictment of Trump, a state case. Look, if the Democrats' entire campaign is built on Trump being a threat to democracy and that he'll arrest his political opponents, then Nathan Wade testifying to the Judiciary Committee that he met with White House officials in regards to their state case in Georgia should be a bombshell. It shows that they're the threat to democracy, and it shows that they're the party that will arrest their political opponents. But this story has largely been ignored by the mainstream media, and likely censored by social media platforms. Except for X, of course. And it really shows that Democrats and their media mouthpieces couldn't care less about democracy or the rule of law. It's just a political talking point. And that's the simple truth. It sounds like I said this five years ago, you'd lock me up. We gotta lock him up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you all want to support this channel, check out the links in the description and let's keep putting some common sense back into the great debate.